10 mil of rain overnight. Just went over to my dad, it's his birthday today. Told him he can have the week off. Um, whether he will is a different thing. Uh, yeah, proper windy. Uh, there's like leaves all over the yard. Yesterday felt like autumn. Yesterday, today looks like autumn. Dryers nicely. Got a bit of chipper roaring away. This is the last of the sky ball to go through. Oh, he's got, unless we've got one more trailer to tip. Moving out the bits of whiskers. It was barely right, but we didn't want to leave it in the field too long. Because harvest so poor, we've been able to separate the skyfall from the feed wheat without even having to put any sort of division in because the shedding anywhere near full. Just a bit more to come through the dryer than that. We'll go here. Disappointing to say the least. Windows a bit dirty, but I'm just watching the fuel use. So, oh. Under hard load, it's 43 litres it goes up to. No, 44.7, but when there's no load, it drops down to about 17. Dead windy outside, so you might not see better. Out. Did you see the rain? I thought we might have got some bailing done today with that high wind, but they might have dried stuff. But from here, it doesn't look like it's raining. But when you zoom in, sucking it down. Say then. Do you like him? Yeah. I was just in a house then, helping Charlotte with James, and I could hear this noise, and I was like, I know what that is. Morgan living the dream. We put a new battery on it. That is. Had it running. If anyone knows where we can get a, a side panel for that side from, let us know. Oh, it sounds well. Definitely needs a side panel. They were so ahead of the time. Quad track is at the workshop because there's an intermittent fault saying that these the fuel filters are blocked, so it's had new filters. And we don't believe it is, so we think it could be. One of them sensors on the bottom. Morgan's unplugged in, it's not on now, but whether we just need to change that sense, I don't know. Muck spreader on. Gonna go and empty a muck heap behind that hedge up the road. Uh, probably spread it on this field here just to get rid of it. Save moving it twice. We're gonna take cart it back in the spreader. There's not a lot of nutrition in shavings for horse muck, but it is good for soil conditioner. Windy, so we're having to be gentle. <laughs> it's like a snowstorm.
This is the problem with horse muck. String in it. It's not from here, most of it is from the other week, but it's a bit of a clean soon. And uh, hopefully I'll get the rest now in the last load. Best midi ever made of Lego blocks. I'll give you a little show around the shop. They have here, they do uh, animal feeds. See how many chickens we can get in a scoop full. I thought they'd have moved when I put the bucket down. Come on, come on, come on. I'm not moving enough. realize you did all this stuff so <laughs> <laughs> it's all like I don't know what it is tack do they call it tack <laughs> Rugs, boots, all that kind of stuff. bird food shampoos oils they're good aren't they them little bales are they for rabbits or horses Both. surprise them buckets haven't blown away Yeah, the gazebo has blown away. Come with pie. Alistair, or pie as he's yeah. better known. Lu Louise and Double Barrel, don't forget. <laughs> and Hunter. And they're going to do the birthday bumper now. They've come all the way from yeah, Ursia, Scotland. Scotland, on the way to a car show in the NEC. So off we go. Stephen Justin Key, 10th Baden. Philip Francis, Joe Sampson, 21. Emily Cook, Albert and Faye, Golden Wedding. Congratulations. Brian and Rachel, tenth wedding. Congratulations. They must have got married on the same day, mustn't they? Oh, they must have been now. Yeah. Uh, Rob's thirtieth day. Yeah. Clive Ab Ablett? Ablett. That's it. Yeah, and also, and last but not least, Tom Harrison. All his dad. Happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday, Dad! It's your birthday today, and we're now up to seventy-four thousand six hundred and fourteen pound. Are you going to start that up, Morgan? Go on then. Just going to start this up so you can hear it. Sweeter than up. Gonna give it a red. Oh, Hunter's going to mullet as well. Gives a twirl. Nice. <laughs> <Obviously>. <laughs> Morgan's molten at the moment. Most of this I could rebail it and sell them back to them. So this is all the way from Ursha. Um red cola, I've never had it before. Now is it does it taste like was it ties that used to be red? Or was that orange? Was it cherry aid? Try it and see. As it goes all over the cab. Oh, it smells. It's like a cross between Tizer and Cola. With a hint of bubblegum. Thank you. Off the uh, Scottish visitors before. There's the big plane going picking the fuselages up. From Sealand. They've done the scaffolding down today. So I've just come across to have a look. But it looks like it's run into the field over the bond. mint doesn't it get the cladding on the side and then put the gutters on this is an off cut see that little black line in the middle there right in the center of the screen that is i'll show you if I stamp on that it makes it strong so it's got that banding through the middle which is like if anyone's ever tried to open a parcel you know how strong it is and that's to stop you falling through a roof if you have to fall on it hard, that basically, oh, I can't smash it. That reinforces it. I can't do it, but yeah, that banding holds you on the roof, stops you falling through it. Isn't that clever? It's hard to tell, we had 10 mil of rain last night, still. It's like dust again now. 
and this was where Morgan went through that water yesterday with the quad track and pretty pretty well dried out now considering we've had 11 mil of rain it's just over there now spread in some organic matter is it from driving a quad that makes me lean forwards when I'm getting stuck with a telly and shoving myself out and I've levelled off the ruts we made as well uh, that is the advantage of using the digger you don't make a mess but I've smeared it back down with the bucket now and it uh, looks okay clean, dressed, changed on my way now to Great Eccleston we're going to do some tracks pull and we're going to see the difference between high pressure and low pressure tyres so that should be interesting um, that is all for today uh, happy birthday to my Uncle Chris for yesterday and Gaz Abbott as well for today that's all today Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.